Well, Miranda Finner's murder sent a wave of fear through Laurel and the surrounding community. And as the years went by, many began to wonder if that crime would ever be solved. Q2's Andrea Lutz went back out to Laurel to see how the town is healing upon hearing today's news. Well, for decades, the community of Laurel was somewhat plagued with not knowing what happened to Miranda Fenner. But Tuesday's guilty plea is giving community members that conclusion they needed. At the corner of Main and Fifth, Miranda Fenner lost her life. Back then, this was a movie store where she worked. Today, it's a salon. It'll probably be talked about for a lot longer than most things are talked about these days. The salon still a buzz over word that this cold case is now closed. But even at a place where the unthinkable happened, those in Laurel haven't forgotten. It's just more shocked that, that something like that actually has gotten closed. At Dynamic Designs in Laurel, the reward poster with Miranda's face still hangs on the wall. The fact that it's an everyday memory. Matthew Smarsh says memory. from the time he was a kid, her image was everywhere in town. The poster has been in every shop here in local to local Laurel for as long as I can remember. As the investigation comes to a close, for those in Laurel, closure too. Something Laurel Police Chief Stan Langvey spoke about at Tuesday's press conference when it was announced 39-year-old Zachary O'Neill admitted to the gruesome death. Being a Laurel boy and growing up there, um, this occurred a little over a year before I uh, got hired with Laurel PD. And it's been that proverbial dark cloud that you're always fighting against, fighting against. Yeah, it's definitely a sense of closure, I would say. Smarsh believes the chatter over the case likely won't end anytime soon. It'll be talked about for probably a long time just because it has been around for so long. I mean, it's been a cold case for 21 years. For many in Laurel, it's possible it will take some more time to comprehend. In Laurel, Andrea Lutz, MTN News.